Sialolithiasis or salivary gland stones are calcifications or mineral deposits in the salivary glands that happens in just one person of the general population. The real cause of this condition is not completely known yet, but some risk factors may play a role, including dehydration, gout, a number of medications such as diuretics and anticholinergic drugs, trauma, smoking and history of kidney stone. These factors reduce or block saliva flow through the glands or ducts. It gradually forms a stone or several stones in those places. Most of these stones form in the submandibular salivary gland located below the jaw in the submandibular triangle. Because this gland has a longer duct and the saliva should move against the gravity, the chance of forming stones is higher than other salivary glands. Other salivary glands include the parotid glands on the side of the face, which are the largest salivary glands in human, and sublingual glands, which are located under the tongue. Sialolithiasis typically presents with pain and swelling in the affected gland, usually when eating or even by anticipation of eating, because when saliva starts to be secreted, faces a blockage on its way. Sometimes salivary stones present with no pain. Fever, worsening pain, and erythema may indicate infection. Treatment is conservative in the majority of patients. They should be instructed to keep well hydrated, apply moist heat to the affected area, and massage the gland gently several times during the day. Moderate pain can be controlled with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as naproxen and ibuprofen. If there is any sign of infection including increasing fever and pain, erythema or prolonged drainage, antibiotic therapy should be started. If the salivary stones don't go away with minimal interventions, they should be removed surgically.